good morning students i hope you all are fine today we are going to start part 2 of unit 2 data entry and keyboarding skills yesterday we have learned about one of the devices that is keyboard and the various types of keys on the keyboard and their functions and some other topics related to keyboard today we are going to learn about the pointing devices pointing devices are such devices attached to computer which help us to control the movement of mouse pointer on the screen and help us to select any item on the screen you know that mouse is the commonly used pointing device so instead of typing some items can be selected from the computer screen for example we can use print or close button to print a page or to close a file respectively this can be done using point and draw devices such as mouse as you know that mouse is a device which help us to point to any icon or it also helps us to draw some lines curves or shapes some other pointing devices are joystick light pen and touchpad mouse mouse is a pointing device which is used to point at a particular place on the screen and select to perform one or more actions a mouse has two buttons left button and right button and in between of the two buttons there is a scroll wheel which helps us to move the page up and down the left mouse button can be used to select an item or to drag any icon from one place to another and the right mouse button when clicked opens the context menu for example if there is an icon of ms word on your screen and you right click on that icon so it shows you all the properties related to it or it shows you some options like it says open and many other options This is the way you have to hold the mouse while working on the computer. This is your index finger. Your palm should be on the base of the mouse that is this area. Your thumb should be at the side of the mouse. The first finger which is the index finger should be on the left button. The middle finger should be on the right mouse button and rest of the fingers to the side. So while holding a mouse you should take care of such things mouse pointer as discussed the arrow which you can see moving on the screen this is the mouse pointer it allows us to point on the screen and helps to select icons it will appear as we move it around the screen as we move this mouse pointer along with our finger it shows us the different directions in it, in which it is moving now there are so many operations of the mouse left clicking right clicking double clicking and dragging left clicking is done with the left mouse button right clicking is done with the right mouse button double clicking means clicking the left button of the mouse two times in order to open an item see understand the difference between left clicking and double clicking left clicking only help us to select an icon or any item whereas double clicking any icon will help us to open it dragging dragging means moving any icon from one place to another how it is done first you have to press the left mouse button on any icon hold the left mouse button and move it to the place wherever you want to move it then release at the place where you want to place it that is dragging so what is dragging moving of any item from one place to another next is typing ergonomics typing ergonomics is the science of preventing common workplace injuries by using proper posture and stretching techniques when at computer when you are sitting at computer and working on it so sometimes if your posture is not right 
or you are not sitting properly it may cause some pain in your body parts or it may cause strain on your eyes so typing ergonomics is the science of preventing the injuries by having a proper posture and the stretching techniques some of the factors which are included while typing are sitting posture so these things need to be taken care of while you are typing the first is sitting posture that is while operating the computer keyboard you should sit slightly straight and bending your neck forward sit straight and slightly bending your neck forward touch both feet to the floor and lower portion of your back to the back of your chair the points can be explained by this picture this is the way you have to sit your back should be straight and your feet should be touched to the floor and your back should be touched to the back of the chair there should be a gap of at least 40 to 75 cm while we are working on the computer and the chair on which you are sitting the chair and table position should be very comfortable for you position of the hand when you are working on the computer your wrist should be straight do not touch the elbows to the body and bend at about 90 degree and monitor placement the distance of the screen from the user depends basically on the size of the screen but generally you should have an approximate distance of 60 to 65 or 40 to 75 cm and for a 17 inch screen you can have a distance of 60 to 65 cm mouse and keyboard placement keep the keyboard and mouse at an approximate distance of 20 cm which will help in the smooth operation of the keyboard and which will prevent their collision so that you can work properly at the computer chair and table placement the chair of the user must be supportive to his lower back it should not be very hard that after working for some time there is pain in your back it should be comfortable for you to work with the computer table should also have sufficient space for your legs whatever the matter you have to type that matter should be placed to the left or right side of the keyboard and if preferred it can be placed on a copy folder or on a cardboard which has a sloping surface with this our part 2 is completed if you have understood it today's topic if you have understood so there are some questions for you do these questions in your notebook and if any doubt is there then you can ask